Okay, Peter, thanks very much for that. That's Peter Bowes in uh, California. Now, we're going to stay in California and speak to some passengers on that ship. This is Carrie and Paul Colstow, husband and wife on board the Grand uh, Princess. Thanks very much, both, uh, speaking to us uh, from your cabin. Uh, first of all, just what's your reaction to the news that you will now be heading to a port? Well, I think that's positive news. I mean, knowledge is always good, and sitting here in a with the lack of indecision is has not been easy. So now we know twenty one unfortunate people have coronavirus, and now we need a plan for that. And what about? And of course, I should say there is a, a quite a rush for you to get off this ship, isn't there? There is a rush for me to get off the ship. I have stage four neuroendocrine cancer and my tumors are actively growing. So we almost didn't come on the trip, but because of some delay in insurance and such, we were encouraged to go and we'd been looking forward to it and really wanted to go. So they got everything done while we were gone, insurance approved and got called last Friday that we're all set to go, so have appointments on Monday and Tuesday to start that process. So, and any and idea whether you can be helped to get off in time for that? Well, I think there's a big question about that at this point. It's not going to be easy to offload this ship with 2,500 passengers on all their luggage and all the spe special conditions that exist. You, yeah. We are dealing with a more elderly population even more elderly than us we we like to think we're one of the younger ones on here <laughs> at yeah, I, I see so i mean it's a huge logistical exercise at, at the best of times and given these circumstances incredibly difficult uh, what's your reaction when those uh, when mike pence announced those numbers that so many of the crew were in tested positive well in a way that didn't surprise me i mean those are the, the those are people were up on the on the ship previous to um, the gentleman that's deceased. And so it would be more likely, I would think, that crew would have it than... So they've got, I mean, the, the only good is I'm hoping that it's younger and more healthy individuals such that they're able to beat the thing. Yeah. I, on the other hand, really want to get off this ship because since there is coronavirus on the ship, yeah, of course. Um, Paul, Paul, can I can I just ask you what what has it been like uh, being in your cabin there? Just give us a flavour of what life is like there. Oh, a lot of the same things going on constantly. Although um, Kerry has been uh, fairly popular with the media, so um, both in terms of text and and in uh, interviews such as this, um, so. Uh, helping her with the tech work has been, has been my job tech support and at least at least we're kind of keeping you uh busy but it is a real tough uh period for you both and what have you Idiots. made of um of the spread throughout the united states and how worrying that is you know i i like to believe that it's going to end up hopefully more like the flu virus we just know about this one differently and the populations that are being tested are the populations that you know most at most, most at risk yeah. versus and there could be people walking around our communities and they never got tested they got a cold they got better yeah of course okay well we, so. i'm afraid we'll leave it there but um yeah from me personally and all of us here we really hope you get off uh, the ship as soon as possible thanks very much for talking to us uh, carrie and paul thank you thank you